Hey everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, my name is Nog and in this episode we will continue uh, building up the factory that we started on over there. But before we do that, I think I want to go have a look at the hard drive that we were researching to see what the uh, what alternate recipes it can give us. Because we might want to use one of those instead of uh, whatever we're going to build or use. Uh, uh, in this episode, so instead of uh, setting up a production first and then finding out that we have a cool new alternate recipe, then let's just find out first. So, we have one for iron ingots. Uh, for reinforced iron plate, we already have the stitched iron plate, which I really like. Then we have one for iron wire. I have no idea. I guess that's copper wire. The same as copper wire, maybe. Uh, I don't want to use that one. This one might be interesting, and this one might too. I don't know. I think we'll take the... We've already set up the smelting the way we want it. I don't want to change all that. So let's take the alternate uh, blueprint, iron wire, and be happy about that. All right, so let's go unlock it just to see what it is. Where is it? Two, one, no, two, no, two, three, four, no, where? I guess it's. Uh, Further up the tiers in tier five and six or something. Maybe it's in tier zero. No, tier one. Oh, we have an alternate for screws as well, which is just wow. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I can't see the recipe, but let's let's unlock that, and let's unlock the iron wire as well. We just need some iron ingots, which we have over here in the in the storage area. Let's just go grab. 100 of those, or actually 54 is all we need, but we do have iron ingots, I think it's here, no, then it's over here, yes, so let's just stick those in there and grab a stack of 100, and go unlock uh, those two alternate uh, recipes, I didn't even realize I had the alternate for screws, I wonder what that is. But we do have screw production going already, so I don't think, no matter what it is, I, I won't be using it right now. So let's unlock that. And find out what that recipe is, and then let's unlock for iron wire again, or also. Let's uh, just have a quick look here. Uh, so wire, uh, we can make alternate uh, stitched iron plate. Can we make alternate wire? Doesn't look like it. Oh, alternate iron wire. I guess it's just wire uh, that we can make out of two iron ingots instead of the normal recipe, which is three, uh, one, one copper ingot. So why would you want to use this one instead? It does produce. I don't really don't see the point in the, in this. Uh, I really don't. Okay, screws. What's that? That's uh, just two iron ingots producing. Twelve screws. This is one uh, copper producing three wire. Okay, so and iron wire is two iron and get producing nine. So that is actually more cost efficient in in uh, ingots, but it uses iron ingots, which I don't want to use. So, but this is actually a really nice recipe. We could do that. 
but not not right now. Let's uh, let's get back and start building uh, the next production area, which I think will be either rotors or frames. Well, it will be either rotors or frames. I'm just not sure which one yet. Up here. Uh, let's see, do we have everything we need? I think we do. Yeah, I think we do. Alright, so last time we got the iron plate, the iron rods, the screws, wire, and cable set up uh, in production. So that was a pretty productive episode. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do now? Uh, let's just build a uh, constructor. Uh, actually, let's put that on, or an assembler, let's put that on zero. And let's just build an assembler and see what the next thing is that we want to make. So we want to make either rotors or modular frames. So rotors take rods and screws, and modular frames take stitched plate and rods. Uh, I think I want to get modular frames going first. Uh, we have just made a setup for stitched rods or stitched uh, iron plate over here, and we'll make another setup uh, right here, exactly the same. Uh, and then we will uh, turn that into frames. So let's do that. Which means that we could just keep this iron line down. I think I want to do that. All right, let's uh, set up some assemblers and get this show on the road. So I want one assembler there. Um, maybe keep it a little bit further away from the ones that we already have set up, just so that there is some kind of indication that it's a new production there. And then we need there, and we need an assembler. To build. Uh, where does it line up with the other one? There. I think this is where I want it. Build it there. And then let's get these belts going in. Set it up to make uh, stitched iron plate. You will make wire. You will make iron plate. Uh, I yeah, missed that one. So <clears throat> let's just uh, delete that and put that like that. And put a splitter in here. And I want it lined up like that. And have this run along like so. And then come up here. And here we can actually just split out from uh, this one. Put it going in like that. Very nice. And that's it for the reinforced iron plate. Then we just need. Uh, let's see, what else did we need for the frames? Hmm. So, we build that, this over here, with a bit of space in between, I think this will do. And then let's see, uh, modular frames, we just need some rods. Uh, let's just check how much uh, we're using now. Uh, it doesn't matter because we are nowhere near the 240. That's for sure. So 
what we need to do is get a splitter on this line up here and have an assembler down here uh, so we build the assembler here I think that work I think that works can we get a splitter up here yes we can so let's just go over on this side and put it in so we can see that it lines up somewhat at least there all right we need cable now but luckily we are producing that and we need you to go in there and we need you to go in there and you need to make iron rods and how many iron rods do you need uh 24 minutes so we're going to need to overclock that we need 12 re reinforced iron plates so we need to, going to need to overclock or under no overclock this as well that's fine uh, so you come out here there and then run down here and come around and go in there All right so that should get our uh, reinforced iron or our uh, modular frames going but we do need to overclock uh, both rods and reinforced iron plate so this one produces 15 50 percent uh, that's seven and a half on top that's 22.5 and you need 24 so we need two over uh, overclock thingies in there uh, let's hook up some power so we can see what the hell's going on uh, I want a power pole here and I want one here I want one in between these two. Oh, not like that. Let's just keep it orderly. So it's something like that. Let's hook up some power. Uh, cable. All right. Let's just go grab some cable over here. There we go. And cable. There. And then you need to hook these guys up. Alright. So that should mean that everything is going. Let's, let's see. 150%. That should be... 22.5, yeah, and we need 24. So that's that there. And you need to make more. So we're going to need to go get some some overclocking stuff. <clears throat> let's let's go do that straight away so that we see that everything is running optimally. Looks like you run so slow when you're on these uh, platforms, like, Jesus, get a move on. But we do have some worms, or not worms, slugs over here somewhere. Uh, there we have two yellow ones, there we have 18, and we already have some. But let's just make the, uh, the rest into uh, overclocking uh, power shards as well. Because we, I don't think we have another use for them other than making them into power shards. So let's just do it so we have them. All right, we have 29 power shards, not bad. Let's go grab some stuff from over here while we're here, just so that we don't steal from the production line over there. We, 
I want to get rid of all of this storage, so might as well uh, grab it from here. We could use some iron plate. And we could use some rods. And I think we could use some wire as well. A little bit maybe. Uh, screws. Uh, we have screws. Wire. Uh, stick this in there and have two stacks. And some cable, which is right here. Those in there and grab another back 300. That should do for now. All right. Let's get back and build our rotor production. Actually, let's just have a look at the power situation. We're not using that much, but again, it's because of all the production uh, not having anywhere to go and being full. So I'm sure that if everything was going, we would be using maybe around 200. Hundred megawatts, I think. All right, so we are back at the production area. We need to overclock the stitched iron over here. Uh, why are you not getting iron plate? Did we not hook you up? No. Uh, makes good sense that you're not making iron uh, reinforced iron plate then. <clears throat> Uh, okay, let's see. It needed 12. So if we do this, that's, uh, that's only 11.25 or something. So it actually needs to... Let's just see. Which will mean that also need to over we need to overclock everything here, man. And we need you to be overclocked. Mm. 167 or something was it? 167, yeah. Like that, and you need to be overclocked a little bit because you are going to need more. 11.25, let's... We need 12. Let's just go have a look at this one. What's it set to? Uh, oh, we didn't underclock that, of course. So... 12.225 per minute. Can we do 162? I don't think so. Let's try it. 12.15. Alright, that's better. Uh, which means that we can underclock you a bit. Uh, can't we? Or do we need to overclock you? We need to overclock you. But we only need one in this one, I think. So that will be uh, 22.5. No, we don't. Uh, how many do we need? 24.3. So... Hundred and sixty two twenty four point three and you need twenty four point three hundred and twenty one point five a minute you need over here. Uh, which means we go to two hundred percent. That is not enough. That is not enough. 90 per minute and you need 121.5 can we get hmm this is getting a little bit tight thing is i want this one going at 100 percent so everything else needs to conform to this one being able to go 100 percent so i think we need to move this over a bit
I needed 121.5, was it? Now let's see, can we fit a... No, we cannot. We need to go. Uh, dang it. Go there. And there. And... actually need this to come out into both of them or to make another one because this was making what i am well and truly confused right now uh, let's just put the assembler down and see uh, rods so you need to be fire, and you need to be iron rods. All right. This is not the prettiest, but it's fine. It's fine. There. And then it needs to merge together with the other one. Um, No room for that. Unless we let's move this and put a merger in here. Pull like that? Yes, it can actually. How is that possible? Let's just build it. I want the output to be over there. And then get you going into the merger. Approaching others' clearance. It wasn't before. There. And then we need Mach 4 belt. Or a Mach 2 belt going in there. And this needs to go in. Can it? Yes, it can. And is there wire coming out? Yes, there is. You need to make uh, wire. You're already set up for that. You are set up for making iron rods. Uh, let's power these guys up. Um, There. So they're producing now. And let's delete you. And put you down again. Good. No, I think I want... Oh, I'm missing rotors. I'm guessing because I have too much stuff. Uh, let's get rid of this and pick up the rotors. Let's get rid of this one cable. Pick up the frames and cable. All right. So the assembler. And which way do we want it to go? I think I want it to go this way. Let's just build it here. Is that doable? I don't think it can get past that thing. So let's uh, move it over a bit. There's the lineup mark for the other one. There. Alright, so you stick the rods in there. And you come over here a little bit further. And come around this way. Approaching. I want you to come over a little bit further. There. And there. Alright. 
So now this needs to make modular frames and hopefully once it gets some power it will We just need to do the overclocking thing. Uh, so, how many rods do you need? 24. That was 167, wasn't it? Or was it no, 162, I think? 161, 24.15. Alright, that's fine. Uh, you need to be overclocked. Uh, Let's see, you need 121.5, which the belt actually can't carry, but it's close enough. Uh, so each of you need to be making just around 60. Uh, so that means that we don't need two in there. That's actually perfect, 135%. Alright. So that should get this going at 100% efficiency. Because this will be going at 100% efficiency, it'll get, well, almost, uh, 120 plus the 24.3 iron plate will be getting and this will be getting the reinforced iron plate at 12 a minute more or less and the 24 iron rods outstanding so that is iron frames set up that took a lot longer than i thought I actually had planned to build both rotors and iron frames in this episode, but apparently uh, it took a little bit longer than I had anticipated to build just the frames because of the whole overclocking thing. But it looks good. I think it looks good. So, yeah. All right, uh, next episode we'll be setting up the rotors and uh, then it's time to unlock tier four for the uh, steel production and the MK3 and then get that going. Uh, MK3 logistics for the Mach 3 uh, belts, which will help us with our uh, iron ingots. So that is really cool. Alright, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.